Personal technology has been quietly moving toward a moment that many people still believe is far away. The idea that the smartphone, the most important device in modern life, might one day stop being the center of everything. For most users, this sounds impossible. Phones feel permanent. They are always in our hands, always in our pockets, always within reach. And yet, inside the largest technology companies, the question is no longer if something will replace the smartphone, but what that replacement will look like. The smartphone has become more than just a tool. It is how people talk, work, pay, travel, remember, and even express who they are. It combines dozens of roles into one object. That is exactly why every attempt to replace it has failed. Smart glasses, wrist devices, and voice assistants all tried, but none could offer the same level of control and flexibility. The market rejected them because they asked users to give up too much. And this is the key point. Any real replacement cannot simply be another gadget. It must change how humans interact with technology itself. According to sources close to Samsung's research teams, the company believes that this moment has finally arrived. In recent years, Samsung has been working on a device that does not compete with the smartphone by copying it, but by dissolving it into something smaller, more natural, and always present. This device is an AI-powered holographic ring, and unlike traditional wearables, it is designed not just to assist the phone, but to eventually challenge its role. At first glance, a ring does not seem powerful enough to replace a phone. That is exactly why the idea feels so radical. But indirect evidence suggests this is not a simple accessory. Samsung has filed a growing number of patents across the United States, South Korea, and Europe that describe rings with advanced sensors, gesture tracking, micro-projection systems, and constant AI connectivity. These are not designs for decoration. They describe a new kind of computing device. Engineers familiar with these developments explain that the ring is meant to act as a central control point for a distributed digital system. Instead of one device doing everything, computing is spread across the cloud, nearby devices, and the ring itself. The ring becomes the trigger, the controller, and the interface. Information appears only when needed and disappears when it is not. Respected industry publications have noted that Samsung has significantly increased investment in what many call post-smartphone technology. This includes wearables, projection systems, spatial interfaces, and AI-driven interaction models. Analysts believe the holographic ring fits directly into this long-term strategy. It is not meant to replace the phone overnight, but to prepare users for a world where screens are no longer the center of attention. The key idea behind the holographic ring is simple to understand. The physical screen is becoming less important. Instead of staring at glass all day, information comes to you only when you ask for it. Using advanced projection technology, the ring can display visuals on your palm, a desk, a wall, or even an open space. The display is temporary, clear, and context aware. When you are done, it vanishes. Combined with AI, this creates a new way to interact with the digital world. A small hand movement can open a menu, a finger motion can scroll, a glance can confirm a command. Voice and gesture work together. The experience is designed to feel natural, almost invisible. In effect, the user gets a screen without owning a screen. Inside Samsung, this shift is seen as a turning point. The company believes that the biggest dependency modern humans have is not on apps but on the need to constantly hold a phone. Removing that physical dependency changes everything. Technology becomes something you access, not something you carry and stare at. It is important to understand that Samsung is not starting from zero. The company already controls one of the most complete ecosystems in consumer technology. Smartphones, smartwatches, earbuds, tablets, home devices, displays, chips, sensors, and AI platforms all already exist within Samsung's reach. Over the years, the company has experimented with flexible screens, transparent displays, miniature projectors, and advanced gesture recognition. Many of these ideas never became products, but they were not wasted. According to former employees, they became building blocks. In this ecosystem, the holographic ring is not meant to replace everything on its own. Instead, it acts as a key. 
It unlocks information, controls nearby devices, and connects the user to cloud intelligence. Processing heavy tasks happens elsewhere, while the ring focuses on sensing, projecting, and interacting. This makes the small size possible. This strategy also reflects the competitive pressure Samsung is facing. The smartphone market has reached a stage where progress feels slow, cameras improve, chips get faster, screens get brighter, but the shape and role of the phones stay the same. Apple is focusing on spatial computing and head-worn devices. Chinese manufacturers are experimenting with new form factors and transparent designs. Samsung, according to analysts, has chosen a different path maximum miniaturization and seamless integration into daily life. Insiders claim that working prototypes of the holographic ring already exist inside Samsung Labs. These versions are not ready for public use, but they prove the concept. The biggest challenges are not vision, but engineering. Battery life, heat management, projection clarity, and comfort all need to be solved. Placing advanced technology inside a ring-sized device is a problem the industry has never faced at this level. This is why Samsung is reportedly using a hybrid architecture. The ring handles sensing and interaction, while heavy computing happens in the cloud with extremely low delay. This reduces power use and heat inside the ring. It also allows the system to improve over time as AI models evolve, without changing the hardware. Special attention is being paid to the interface. Unlike phones, where users tap and swipe on glass, the ring relies on micro gestures, hand movements, voice commands, and even subtle changes in finger position. AI plays a critical role here. It learns how each user moves and reacts. Over time, interaction becomes faster and more personal. Projection technology is the visual heart of this system. Instead of locking information behind a fixed screen, data appears where it makes sense directions on your hand while walking, a message preview on a table during a meeting, a calendar floating briefly in front of you at home. The goal is to give information without demanding attention. For now, Samsung has not announced a release date or shared full specifications. Sources suggest that the first public appearance of the holographic ring will likely be a concept demonstration, not a consumer launch. This mirrors how flexible displays were introduced years before becoming mainstream. The goal is to show direction, not to replace phones immediately. Analysts agree that if Samsung succeeds, the impact will be massive. Smartphones will not disappear overnight. Instead, their role will slowly shrink. They will become backup devices rather than constant companions. Wearables and ambient interfaces will take over everyday tasks. Many experts believe the industry is approaching a transition similar in scale to the move from button phones to touchscreens. At that time, few people believed physical keyboards would disappear. Today, they are almost gone. The same pattern may be starting again. The company that first delivers a truly useful and comfortable alternative to the smartphone will gain more than market share. It will define how the next generation interacts with technology. Control over that interaction means control over platforms, services, and ecosystems. According to information coming from inside Samsung, the company intends to be first. The AI holographic ring is not just a new wearable. It is a statement about the future. A future where technology blends into human movement, where screens appear only when needed, and where the smartphone becomes just one step in a longer journey. If this vision becomes reality, the familiar rectangle of glass may one day feel outdated, and the way humans connect with the digital world may quietly change forever. That is why many analysts believe the race to replace the smartphone has already begun. Most people simply have not noticed yet.